So, this time guys, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay si rinbase kung tayo daw ay mag install ng isang bypass capacitor. Okay, una, ano ba yung rinbase? Si rinbase po ay simply si JB lang. At ang value ni JB, kung i-compute natin, or impedance sa base ay beta r prime e plus r e. Okay? May binagay din sa ating beta na 100 at supply na 20 volts. Ngayon guys, tignan natin kung anong effect kapag naglagay tayo ng isang bypass capacitor. Tandaan, AC analysis tayo at kapag AC capacitor is shortened. So pag sinabi natin shorted, papaltan lang natin yan ng wire. Okay? Nung napaltan ko ng wire, anong effect nun sa 500 ohms? Masyo short din po si 500 ohms. So, may parallel na akong wire. Wire pa lang din po yan. Wala akong magbabago doon. Wire lang. Okay? So, yan na. So, kung titignan ko si JB, si RE, zero na. Kaya, ang JB ko is approximately beta R prime E na lang. So, kailangan kong palang mahanap si R prime E. Okay? So, mag-approximate analysis na lang ako. Pag-approximate analysis, alin nga yun? Sisimulan ko sa condition, beta RE, is it greater than or equal to 10 R2? Kapag nasatisfy ko, pwede akong mag-approximate analysis. Ang madami kasing ginamit sa Injabix, approximate analysis. So, beta is 100. RE, yung tinanggal ko, that's 500. Is it greater than or equal to 10 times R2, which is 5 kilo ohms? So, this, eh, this is 50,000. And it is equal to 50,000. So, pwede akong mag-approximate analysis. Again, what's the first step in approximate analysis? Find VB. So, VB is 20 times 5 all over 22 plus 5. 5 all over 22 plus 5 voltage divider principle. So, this is equal to 3.70 volts. Second step, find VE. VE is simply VB minus VBE. Hindi mo kailangan sa uluwin to kasi VBE is VB minus VE. Trinanspose ko na lang po. So, that's 3.70 minus 0.7. I can see that my VE is 3.004 volts. Approximately 3 volts. Last step, find IE. IE is simply VE over RE. Siyempre guys, kung E yun, E din to at E din to. Hindi yung pwede maging C. Okay? So that is 3 over 500 So that is 6 point, approximately na lang, approximately 6 milliamperes. Okay? Pag meron akong IE, makukuha ko na si R prime E. Si R prime E is yung AC resistance ng emitter. And that is equals to 26 millivolts over IE. Ngayon guys, kapag lumang version ng Boylestad or Floyd ang gamit nyo, that is 25 millivolts. Pero updated na tayo, 26 millivolts na po. So that's 26 millivolts divided by 6 milliamperes. That is approximately 4.33 ohms. Now to find ZB, Zabiana, joke. That's beta R prime E. So that's 100 times 4.33 or approximately 432.7 
0.80 ohms. So, piliin nyo yung pinakamalapit sa choices and that is letter A. So, ganun lang pong kuhain si Zaylee ng Inja Beats. Okay, so copy your notes. So hello guys, this time, yung dalawang circuit, yung dalawang question yung isosolve natin. R in tot or R in total and R in base. Okay? R in tot or R in total is simply your ZI or your input impedance. Overall na po yun. Well, R in base, ito lang po yung ZB mo. Or impedance or equivalent impedance dun sa base natin. So formula muna tayo. ZB is hindi sinabi sa ating merong bypass capacitor so consider na unbypassed po ito at iba yung formula natin pag unbypassed so ZB is beta R prime E plus beta plus 1 R E pero approximately wala namang effect masyado yung 1 kaya approximately magiging beta R prime ito plus beta R E Factor out to si beta, ZB, is beta R prime E plus R E. Okay? Kanina, na-compute na natin that R prime E is approximately 4.32 ohms from the previous problem. So, this is approximately equal to 100 times 4.32 plus 500 so, approximately, this is equal to 100 times 4.32 plus 500. That's 50.43 kilo ohms. Or approximately 50 kilo ohms. Pagdating kasi, doon sa ibang reference, pagdating dito, ina-approximate nila na kapag i-compare mo ang value ng R prime E sa R E, masyadong maliit si R prime E, kaya nagkakaroon pa minsan ng isang approximation that ZB is approximately beta R E na lang po. So, kung gagawin mo yun, eksakto yung makukuha mong 50 kilo ohms. Pero, doon na tayo sa medyo eksakto. Okay. Next is, for the R in total, or ZI. ZI is parallel ni R prime and ZB. Meron na tayong ZP, ang kailangan na lang natin ay si R prime. Si R prime po is parallel combination lang nito. So R prime is simply R upper parallel kay R lower or R1 parallel kay R2. So that is 22 kilo ohms parallel with 5 kilo ohms or simply 4.07 kilo ohms so this is 4.07 kilo ohms parallel with 50.43 kilo ohms so ZI is approximately equal to 3.77 kilo ohms o yung sagot natin o yung sagot natin na 3.7 kilo ohms so yan lang po yung way ng paghanap ng R in total and R in base or ZI and ZB kapag ang ating circuit ay unbypassed. Unbypassed, wala po yung kapasitor natin dito. Okay? At nakita nyo naman previously doon sa problem, kapag bypassed na. Dito ko lang din naman kinuha yung formula doon. So, okay? So, copy your notes.
oldest question guys is from India Bix. Alam naman natin, copy tayo sa Mumbai kapag exam. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo, wala tayong bypass capacitor dito. Yung bypass capacitor ay yung kinakabit mo dito na capacitor para ma-bypass ang emitter resistor mo. At kapag ganyan, yung voltage gain mo is negative RC over RE. That is only approximations. But approximations are very helpful thing kasi mas madaling mag-compute kapag approximate. So that is negative <coughs> 2.5 kilo ohms all over 500 ohms or roughly equal to negative 5. So yun po yung voltage gain natin. Sa choices natin, walang negative, lahat positive. So piliin mo lang yung 5. Kaya yun po yung sagot natin. So, as simple as that. So, copy your notes. Okay guys, para sa huling Inja Big Circuit natin, Hahanapin daw natin yung AV or voltage gain kung saan ang RE natin ay bypassed na. Kung kanina kapag unbypassed, AV is approximately negative RC over RE. Dito, AV is approximately equal to negative RC pa din po over R prime E. Okay, you see the difference? This is the emitter resistance. This is the AC emitter resistance, R prime E. Okay? So, ito yung gagamitin natin. AB is approximately equal to negative RC over R prime E. Mula sa mga solving natin kanina, we had it that R prime E is approximately equal to 4.32 volts. Nag-solve na din ako before, kapag ang ginamit ko ay exact analysis, kapag ni-round off nyo, hindi aabot sa answer natin doon. Pero kapag approximate analysis, umaabot doon kapag ni-round off natin. So, this is negative 2.5 kilo ohms all over 4.32 ohms. At lalabas na ang AB mo is equal to 577.64. I-round up ko to. Makikita ko na ang AB ko is approximately 600. Negative 600. Okay, again, magnitude lang naman yung kinuha dun sa tanong. So, yun lang din yung hanapin mo. Huwag ka magpakabalong na hala, walang negative. Kung sa choices merong negative, yun po ang piliin mo. So, as you can see, yung gain natin kanina is 5 kapag unbypassed. Kapag bypassed is 600, negative 600. So, kitang-kita nyo, mas malaki talaga kapag binabypass natin si DC emitter resistance. Okay? So, yun lang po yung effect ng bypassing a RE or your emitter resistance. So, copy your notes.